setbacks are different. Yeah. We want mother, father, you know, dual parent. Mm -hmm. We want that kid to be three, five and up because he's got to be smart. Mm -hmm. um, not bad decisions off the field. Uh, at all mm -hmm. because he has to be a leader of men. It's so many different attributes and what we look for. Uh, physical, I mean, offensive line. My defensive line is totally opposite. What do you mean? Single mama. <laughs> <laughs> now, the reaction of those gross men on that panel to what he said speaks volumes. Now, I understand what he's saying. He's trying to say that, you know, they've set this, this criteria. They want these young men to meet a certain standard and it encompasses a whole process right in order for them to get there so he's saying a two-parent household is a bit more wholesome and i think it's in, in 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 the sense of attention being paid to this child's development however i do believe the controversy arose from how he presented his case. <laughs> wow. trying to get it <laughs> uh, he's on free lunch i mean like <laughs> Uh, uh, I mean, I'm talking about just trying to make it. He trying to rescue mama. Okay, now, correct. Now, this is what the real issue is. I do not believe that he intended to shame single mothers. I think what he's trying to say is, okay, as a single woman, she's being pulled in different directions. Now, mama alone has to be the breadwinner. She has to be the provider. She has to be the protector. She has to be there. She's working. She's doing all these things. One person, and he has left a, 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 also left a single parent um, children with, with with their mothers because the woman he's with is not the mother of, of his children. All right. So I do believe that is what he's trying to say. It is harder on a single woman to raise these kids with all these values and 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 all these, you know, the the motivation that they would need to get them to the next level than it would at a dual parent home. Even though they're absentee parents in a dual parent home, in a two family home. I'm from a two family home and my, both my parents were present. But in reality, family dynamics differ in every situation. Hell yes, it's like mama barely made the flight. And I do not believe that single women should be offended by what he said, because this is more an indictment of the men those same cackling men on the panel than it would be, or the likes of the those cackling men on the panel than it would be of a single mother. Because there she is struggling with her children all by herself, all on her own, without the, the presence of a male who should be there to help shoulder all these things so that this child could actually attain the levels of success that he's, he's, he's talking about. So these men are, are sometimes, they, they, they're just, far removed from the situation and they always believe that there's not it has nothing to do with them it has everything to do with you listen this what he said may have opened a pandora's box because it also highlights the large number of single parent households there are as it pertains to black families the black community has a large number of single parent households women heading the household women doing it alone I know there's always that argument that men are raising their children as well. Okay, well, how prevalent are those circumstances? More, there are more single women than there are single men raising their children. So, I I do understand his message. It speaks to the importance of teamwork and and reinforcement, and the more the better, you know. Both parents would at least you know be able to balance their roles as parents as it relates to how they raise their child and the amount of time they put into the to their de development i think that is what he's saying now we get the gist of what he's trying to say but i think he's a bit insensitive he's very insensitive because i'm sure that there is that single woman who's out there the single mother who's out there who's trying with her son or children or sons and has that 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 faith that whatever she's putting in will be realized and her son will reach that attain that level that he's speaking of now i'll reference the quote it is not what you say but how you say it and this is a very good example how disconnected and insensitive these role models are when dealing with certain you know sensitive issues and situations because now his message is going to be lost in all the chaos and everybody you know in their feelings I, because of how he presented 
Because there's going to be that young man who's out there going through the struggle with his mom, who's trying to make his life better so that he can get to the levels that Deion Sanders is expecting. And that is why a lot of men, when they get into their adult years, they blame their mothers and never hold their fathers accountable. Hold their fathers accountable. And the, the thing about dual parent households as well, you have to be on the same team and the interest of the child has to come first. Nothing is foolproof. And even in those circumstances, there may be a deficit. Anyway, as always, stay safe and be self-aware and subscribe for more snippets of wisdom and real talk. See you in the next video.